Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. There's one more thing we need to do. So if you take a look, we also need to go ahead and save the value into the database. So again, for that, we'll have to use this hook, which is add action save post. So when the post is saved, the meta box also is saved. So I'm going to do save post. And then there will be save post data. So this save post meta data. Okay. And make sure it's a public function, like I said earlier. So public function save post metadata and then this is going to get the post ID so I'm just going to use that post ID and then let's just copy this piece of code it says that if the array key exists then go ahead and use the update post meta function to update it so in our case this is not this key the key name is Aquila field so I'll just use that yeah let's uh, I think we should make this more semantic so we can say hide title field okay so let's put hide title field and then it's asking for the meta key so what is the meta key so this is my meta key right so I'll put that and then my post field which is this and that's it okay so I expect that that value should get saved when I go and check so I refresh and then I select I select yes and then I update it so post gets saved, I refresh. Now you can see yes is selected. Awesome. So th that means the value is getting saved. I try no. Okay, I refresh. And now the value is no, which is awesome. Great. So that means it is working. Uh, and if you want to take a look in the database, I can show that to you. So I'll go to PHP my admin and then I'll go to WordPress and this is my database and it should go inside of the post meta so I will go ahead and search and my meta key was underscore hide page title there you go so you can see that against the post ID we have the meta key saved and the value is no right so what we're going to do is we will go ahead and fetch this information into our content post content so we had component blog entry header oops entry header so this is the place where we want to ensure that we want whether or not we want to hide or show the post so over here we'll create this hide title variable and we'll use this function called get post meta so what is it accept so you just need to hit command B on PHP storm or just search this function it takes post ID the key and whether or not you want single value or not okay uh, because it can store an array of value as well okay so we'll just use the post ID so we already have the post ID so I'm just going to put that here and the post ID and then I'm just going to use the key so key name was hide page title and then I'll just put true because I want single value just single storing single value and then if I just print it you can echo it if you want if I just print it over here okay and I can go in over here for it's going to look for the first one and then die over there so uh, for the first one let's see what do we have edit post 
and hide page title it's currently set to no so I'm going to refresh and check and there you can see it's no so I've added the post ID then dot then some space and then dot to concatenate just to show that which post ID is referring to so now if I refresh you can see that it says post number 482 so if we take a look this is the post 482 and the value we've set to yes and then it's showing that it's yes if I change that back to no and update the post and come back and refresh you can see that value changes to no now yep so that's good it's working for us there's one more thing that's required which will be adding nonce verification okay uh, so whenever we are storing some information and creating forms etc in WordPress it's important to do the nonce verifications so we're going to talk about that in the next video and we're going to make sure that we add the nonce verification into our form so when we are saving the value uh, we're going to add the uh, you know we're going to verify the nonce and at the time of creating the form we'll go ahead and add the nonce so we'll discuss in more uh, detail about that in the next video awesome then so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye, -bye.